Greetings from Washington, D.C. This is Peter Thomas, the General Counsel of NAOP. Two important announcements for the month of May. The first is the announcement of the NAOP Inaugural Fellow, and the second is a report from a trip that I just made to China on rehabilitation uh, and uh, treatment of people with disabilities in that country. First, the NAOP Fellowship. The NAOP uh, announced last week in its press release that we have selected, the selection committee has selected uh, Nicole Van Kylen, um, an outstanding candidate, uh, one of many outstanding candidates, to serve as the inaugural fellow for NAOP this summer. The fellowship is a 10-week program where Nicole will be coming to Washington and spending time uh, shadowing me as, as general counsel of NAOP and also uh, going to meet with uh, all five members of the, the uh, ONP Alliance, the ABC, the BOC, the Academy, and AOPA, as well as uh, the Amputee Coalition, as well as um, visiting other uh, cities throughout the country to get a good experience with respect to not only clinical prosthetic care, clinical orthotic care, uh, the business aspects of uh, the field and the profession, as well as state health care policy. We're very excited about the fellowship. We are extraordinarily excited about Nicole. Nicole distinguished herself among a fine pool of candidates, uh, a pool that we hope to return to in, in the coming years, uh, assuming we are able to expand this program and, uh, and uh, develop additional fellows in uh, future uh, 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 fellowships during the summer. Uh, with or without the involvement of other organizations, but we're hopeful that we'll be able to move forward with this program once we prove uh, the concept. Nicole is a graduate of the University of Michigan with distinction from the Ross School of Business. Uh, she recently completed a 1,500-mile tri triathlon down the West Coast to uh, raise awareness for amputee issues and prosthetics issues. Uh, she's just a, a fabulous advocate. She's been to the ONP. Uh, policy forum. She's been to the Amputee Coalition fly-in. She's demonstrated her interest in uh, ONP advocacy and policy. Uh, she is a, uh, a single amputee and uh, uses prosthetic technology and we could not be happier uh, for her interest in this fellowship and ultimately for her selection as our inaugural fellow. So please welcome Nicole. You can find out more about her background on the NAAOP website at NAAOP.org. Next, I wanted to bring you up to date on a trip that I just completed, a five-day trip to China. It was a great honor to be invited by the U.S. State Department to accompany a U.S. delegation to China to discuss three issues with the Chinese government, uh, a division of the government known as the China Disabled Persons Federation. Uh, the three issues involve rehabilitation, uh, employment of people with disabilities, and adaptive sports. I spoke on the issue of rehabilitation and was the quote-unquote expert on that topic, uh, one of two people that were outside of the government uh, who participated in this delegation. We met for a full day of dialogue with the Chinese government and then toured a number of rehabilitation and um, employment uh, uh, programs for people with disabilities in two different cities in China, Beijing and Xi'an. It was a fabulous trip, an amazing trip, and I learned a tremendous amount about the capacity and the challenges that China faces with respect to rehabilitation, including uh, the challenges it faces with respect to orthotic and prosthetic care. There is very significant interest that the Chinese have in following up. I think there's a lot of things that they can learn from us and that perhaps we can learn from them. Uh, but the bottom line is that I do expect this will be the beginning of some kind of dialogue between the two countries that has the imprimatur of the federal government and the Chinese government uh, involvement. There's been plenty of dialogue before um, I traveled to China on, on this issue, but perhaps uh, with the World Health Organization's identification of rehabilitation as a major priority over the next decade, and China's agreement that rehabilitation is an issue that they really want to expand upon and improve in China, there may be some significant headway we can make, um, not only as an ONP field, but as a rehabilitation field uh, more, more broadly and more generally. So we're looking very much forward to that, and more on that later. We'll be following up with additional detail. So thanks so much, and have a great May.